I made something for you. It's a winter checklist. It's right here. You can download it in the description box below. I have so many good suggestions that I got from friends about how to make winter wonderful. So I put them all together for us and I thought we'd try it. Thank you to all my friends for their suggestions on how to make winter thrivable. something to tell you. I have depression. Hi. I wanted to interrupt here because I wanted to be completely honest with you. I hit a wall last week working on this video. As you know, I have trouble filming myself. Uh, not technically. I just don't like it. I don't like looking at myself. I don't like seeing myself in front of the camera. I just don't so what happened last week was that I self-isolated, I stayed home, I avoided going out and being with people, I just wanted to focus on one thing in my video. When I get in that groove, it's, it's meditative. I love it. Getting out of it is hard to do. I don't want to be interrupted. I don't want to stop. I don't want to do anything else. This focus is so much harder to get now. I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is, but I, I started going in circles, going in, going in circles, 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 and second guessing myself and not being able to make a decision and starting over and stopping and starting again. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't trust myself. I woke up one day in an existential crisis. Why am I doing this? What's the point? What's the purpose? Why am I here? What's my purpose? It was a dangerous spiral. Need to balance that creative energy with the things on the list. To keep depression at bay and to um, be able to continue to do the things that I love. I bit all my nails off. Do you see all the glare? I spent a good deal of time crying. It was very helpful. <laughs> this is not a balanced way to live, which is the whole point of the checklist. When I found myself in a state of depression last week, not knowing which way was up or down, I decided to go back to the list and started doing some of those things that might help make me feel better. Up with friends, I went to a knitting group, which I've never done before, and I'm teaching myself how to crochet. I went to the gym and I swam, I sat in the sauna, and I've taken my dog for a walk every day since then. I know that these things might seem small, but they're little things that help in so many big ways. I hope when you take this list and you put it on your fridge and we cross these things off together, I hope that they will help you. I 
hope that we will come out of this winter feeling stronger, and brighter, and better about ourselves. Now we have our list. Let's get started. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. First on our list, sunshine. Or where'd it go? Sunshine in the day, and I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. So, let's talk about sunshine. There's not a lot of it here in Pennsylvania. We don't have a lot of sun. Lesson number one I've learned, don't wait for the sun. But when it's out, go grab it.
So your girl went for a walk in the snow. Glasses are fine. Can you see that? <laughs> okay. Oh. Existential crisis. I don't know, guys. So, guys, oh my goodness, look what I filmed. 